Hey, hey, I am back. I decided, or I owe you all a video because last week, let's see that, last week, uh, last Sunday, uh, was the last time I have been in the pool. So behind me, you can see that I'm back here because we took a little vacation. So I owe you a video from our little stay at a local um hotel kind of seemed like a resort uh and it was a week that i just felt like hey babe let's just get away and this is amazing what you can do in 24 hours when you need a little vacay right so we did that and i owe you a video just to show you the facility we had a really really good time and sometimes little mini vacations just help rejuvenate reset all of the good stuff that you need and then you can get your life together because as i say constantly i say it often <laughs> life is a life thing and um, there we go that's what it is ah, that's what it is there it is I'm trying to figure out my um my goggles so that is it. I'm going to show you the location. It was at the Grand Hotel and we had a really good time and I'm missing the water. So I was like, okay, here it is a week later. So many different things have happened. Baby girl went back to school. My granddaughter, my grandson, this is our his first snow. So he's loving the snow. He's amazed with it. He was crying this morning on the phone because he wanted to go back out in the snow. And... I love the snow so I had a chance to play in the snow a little bit and a lot went on this week so let me get my watch started and I'm going to do some laps and I wish I would have bought my speaker because it's only myself and the gentleman over here before he just got in it was just me I could have rocked out and had a good time in here but I forgot to bring it all right I'm going to show you the hotel and talk to you later thank you all for the new subscribers it's been great just watching this grow it has been a green evergreen effort very very slow but i'm here for it and just sharing our life and uh resources and tools with you all all right take care so we stayed down at the grand hotel in cape may new jersey and this is the entrance i love the gray aesthetic it's such a vibe it's classy and it just is clean and those two blue chairs i wanted to take them home we checked into our room and this is the bathroom which i thought was cool because the shower had a flat uh, step in and then there was a sink on the outside so i used this to just throw all of my stuff you know how that is ladies throwing all your stuff on the counter and then the stool underneath so you can actually you know do your makeup and everything and there's the whole bathroom it was a dryer which i needed because later we'll tell you about our little swim situation but the shower was cool and relaxing and then the rest of our room as you know was a uh, refrigerator with a microwave little freezer and extra cover that brown cover was the bomb i needed it because it was chilly and there's a comfy bed and we had to you know, of course sanitize a little couch and then that table had a little like pull out um little like ottoman tables underneath and then you look outside and that's all of the rooms. And then we had the view. They upgraded our room. Here's the door. We'll step out really quick. And they upgraded our room. So we had a view to the ocean, which is really important to me because the reason why I go down to these trips is to just get away and get near the water and just talk to God. But I thought this room was amazing. I definitely would recommend this hotel i want to call it a resort and for 24 hours we just got so much done it was only a 24 hour trip but it was amazing and you would have thought that we spent like seven days somewhere so we went to the gift shop and i was obsessed i am obsessed with these hats with the balls in the middle of them they had some cute ones but i just walked around and looked at the cute stuff and just said you know what we'll be back 
this is our spot now and we'll pick up some you know items next time i went to the gym i was a little bit disappointed with this because now that i'm lifting weights the pins didn't actually work in the weight machine so i did some cardio and did what i could do there was no dumbbells we stopped by the arcade i saw the pac-man machine we didn't really play but it was there and then we walked over to this area that is kind of like it gives me conference vibes i was really thinking about i simply love her or just a retreat for women because this hotel encompasses everything and i think that they were super organized um and when we came in they made sure that we knew where everything was so we looked over you can look into the pool and then there's a jacuzzi there and then there's the tables there's husby and a uh, couch and you can just sit there and read a book if you wanted to we walked down and sat in the chairs and looked at the fireplace it really wasn't a fireplace but it had that aesthetic but i actually sat down and i was like oh i like this this is so cool and just had a time to you know sit there and check it out before we went out so i went out to the water al left me he said ron i'm not going out there it's too cold it was i had my uggs but the reason for me going down to the ocean often is because i need to just talk to god this is me out there talking to God and telling you that I'm talking to God because I needed to pray and just give him some things that I had some concerns about. It's the most tangible place that is divine that I feel like you can meet the Lord at. I can just stand out there and just say, hey, God, it's me, Rhonda. Do you hear me? But it was super cold and you couldn't hear me. It was windy, but I had a chance to go out there and give give it all. I've always wanted to go over to the gift uh, shops in Cape May, but you can never find a parking spot. The meters were off because it was winter. And even though they still had the Christmas uh, season up and a lot of stores were closed, there were a lot of stores open. So we went and walked the room. There was a lot of people there. We saw this gallery and this was a, you know, a, a vibe, of course. Uh, the artwork and just to see different contributions i love this i think it was called rising sun and i was like she is so nice and then i just looked at some other pictures the window i was obsessed with the stones because they look like the ebenezer stones from the bibles and those bowls i was just like oh i wish i could take one of those bowls home and this is us back at the hotel you know coming back to just kind of rest and i had to show it to you again because those blue chairs there they are and I just love it. So we go to the pool and this man literally comes up to me and says, do you want to race me? Because I had my fins and my goggles and everything. And I'm like, okay, he won. Uh, that's it. That's the end of the story. We went to dinner and we just chatted and had a good time. And the next day we woke up and just said, this was a very relaxing place and we will be back here again. So that was it. That was our little 24 hour vacay. I definitely recommend and we've made a decision uh, for this year i recommend taking little short trips uh, that can just really boost back um whatever you have going on in life it just yeah and when i i knew we made a decision a good decision when al said this was really relaxing because it usually doesn't you know give me that kind of feedback but i knew i was like okay we're on to something so we made a decision we said you know what um quarterly it's time for us to maybe right now we're not able to travel far but maybe we can just take little little trips and go to places that we've never so many places in new jersey new york um, just surrounding areas that we're able to get to just really quickly and that's the decision that we made so definitely i want to put that out there because i think it will help you in your marriage right it'll help you in uh, your work-life balance, you know, you're working and working and working, we're grinding, social media, all of those different things. We felt like, wow, we said, wow, we did all of that in 24 hours. And it definitely was worth it. So the Grand Hotel is in Cape May. It's at 1045, I believe, Beach Avenue. It was a wonderful place. And again, um, I've stayed in other places, really high-end hotels, where no one tells you, and I always have to say, where's the pool? What time is the pool open? Where's this? Where's that? When we signed, um, checked in, she gave us a piece of paper and it had everything there. And I remember looking at it like later on during the day and I was like, oh, here's checkout time. Here's where 
the ice machine is. The ice machine is near this area, near these rooms. This is where the pool is. I mean, everything was laid out. And to me, that uh, speaks volumes to me because I don't just like when I stay at a hotel, I'm looking at the amenities for sure. Usually even on business trips, I say, okay, put me in a hotel with a pool. I need a pool because even though I'm working, I need to relax and feel like I'm at a vacation and it's important to me to take care of myself. So that is it. And check it out if you want to. Leave some comments and questions and all that good stuff below. Thanks for watching and we'll be back for more. Be blessed. Take care.